This is a story about Jane and her shopping experience with Acme. Jane just moved to a new apartment and needs to buy some furniture. She has previously bought furniture from Acme in Atlanta and she knows what she's looking for. She only needs a few items and she doesn't want to waste time driving around trying to find them. Jane's heard about an awesome new digital showroom application from a friend of hers who had just had a great shopping experience at Acme last month, and so she downloads it to get started. Jane's initially greeted with this screen when she opens the app, and she has options to start a project, browse the catalogue or browse styles. Because she knows what she wants, she's going to dive in and start a project. Jane's asked what room she'd like to design or redesign. She chooses the living room, and then She's asked to create the shape and the size for the room. Jane notices that in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, there's an assistant offering to upload a plan of the room for her if she has one. She decides to use the mapping tool to sketch out the room. And she sketches that onto this grid using the iPad. She could obviously trash that, start again, undo, whatever she needs to do to get to the uh, right dimensions and right size. The next screen asks Jane if she has a budget in mind for her project. She does, she has a $7,000 budget and like that sales assistant, that sales consultant, she's also asked what items she's looking to buy. Today she's looking for a sofa, a coffee table and a rug. She chooses that and clicks to the next screen. Here Again, rather like that sales consultant, she's asked what her style is like. Now, if she had a picture to hand, what she might be able to do at this point is take a picture of the room and upload it to the app, who then, and they may have access to Google's Vision AI, and they might actually recognize some of the colors in the room and make some suggestions with a palette. She doesn't have that photo yet, so instead what she's going to do is select some of the images that are on uh, on the app of rooms that she likes the style of. This is very smart and it helps to begin to analyze her style, which comes back as she uh, has a Scandinavian style with a mid-century flair. Not being an interior designer, she doesn't know much about what that means, um, but she gets started anyway. She names the project and, she d and she's now presented with a very curated view of the room. First of all, that is synced with her style. So as you can see, it has the Scandinavian elements in it. She can change it here though, and if she wants something that feels a little more bohemian, she can do that. She can also change the items that are in her bundle, adding or removing those as she needs to. She can adjust her budget. She has that fixed at $7,000. Up here, she can see how much of her budget she spent. She can also, and this is really important to Jane, she can also only view those items that are available on a specific date. Here she's picked one, and now she'll only be able to see those items that are available for her delivery on those dates. Jane can look at items just from a bundle perspective that she's requested, so coffee table, rug, and sofa. She can also just use a catalog view. Jane's going to go back to the room sets and she decides that she really likes the first style. She clicks on that and she sees these items broken down. She clicks on the sofa, looks at the product reviews, uh, can change the color and can even, if she wanted to, change, some of the, uh, change the items based on um, her recommendations and based on her behavior so far that have been recommended here. What she's also able to do is have a look at that sofa in the, in the plan of the room that she created. As she places the sofa down, she remembers there's a window that she wants to make sure she doesn't block. And she can add that, move that around. Um, and if there she wants to, she could add a door, etc. But basically she's ensuring that um, she's not blocking any of that valuable light in her apartment. Jane goes back uh, and dives into some of the product detail. She can see what the delivery is, cost is, etc., etc. She chooses to add everything to the cart and is now 
able to do one more thing. Jane could now upload that photo of her room, but in this case, because it's not yet decorated, she's going to use it to view what the furniture looks like in the room. So using augmented reality, she'd be able to pick the sofa, place it, she can remove it here, can take the rug, place it, likes it there, can see the, can see the cost, she can go into some more product detail. She can go in and perhaps change the sofas, depending and having a look at it in different ways in the room. And she then go back to that 2D view, take a look at that and ends up back at the screen. Back to her shopping cart, Jane decides to dive in to check out the shipping. She knows she wants these items. She's seen them in the room. She's checked them out on the plan here. She, uh, she sees that the sofa and the rug are available for her to have delivered on the 4th of May. She chooses that delivery time and syncs it with her calendar. She also notices that the coffee table she wanted wasn't available until the 22nd. But if you remember, she needed things to be delivered by the 16th. So she chooses not to buy the coffee table. Now... It's worth noting at this stage that different shipping options are presented to Jane on the right here. It's almost as though she was with someone, a salesperson in the showroom. So you can imagine here the salesperson saying, would you like all of these things shipped back to you on the 18th of March? Or you could buy the sofa and the rug and then come back to pick up the coffee table. Jane at this point chooses just to go for option one. She checks it and she checks out. Having checked out, she can confirm that her order has been placed, that she has all the delivery details for the 15th set up. There is an upsell option here that's, uh, that has a limited time offer. This is the coffee table that she decided not to, to buy, but she's been given this final option to buy it within the next hour and to receive a discount. If she wants to take advantage of that discount, she's able to add that to her cart. She has to pick one of the later of delivery dates, but maybe just maybe that reduced price would entice her. So this is an overview of our customer facing showroom application for Acme. But what if Jane decided she'd like to see the furniture in person before she buys? Let's take a look at what that might look like for Jane if she chooses to set up an appointment after shopping instead or buying online.